77% of software testers are still aware, unaware about the so API testing according to the report by the smart bear right right now if you are using facebook app twitter or instagram millions of requests are going to and fro and all they are using is apis right so in this video we are going to cover what is an api what are the different types on of api and what and how do we basically perform the api testing right so you're going to learn everything hi my name is pramod and welcome to the 30 days of api testing challenge with rest assured let's get started me make myself smaller yeah so we're going to learn about what is api types of api and what is exactly is the api testing right so what is the question is what is an api right? what is the api so api is basically an acronym for the application programming interface right it's a kind of a intermediary which basically allows two application to talk with each other in the previous video we are we are already talking about the lots of web services right so api is a part of that web services which basically uh, act as a intermediary between the two application and allows them to communicate with each other we have a client we have a server they can communicate using these apis right so that's what they are using it uh, so uh, as well as what is api so they can be a set of subroutines or a protocols right so they can be certain kind of functions that you want to uh, basically execute right api can be web based operating based database based computer hardware software library also right so right now we are learning about the web api only because we uh, the api testing that we are learning is related to the web application only so the operating system that you are running they are also using apis for example they have software and hardware right so they are also communicating with each other using this api also right so these are again the API application programming interfaces but here we are learning only about the web apis which works over the internet or a world wide web make sense cool. let's understand with this simple example what is an api so suppose you are a client you are going you basically uh, you are you are going to a particular restaurant right so this the uh, when you go to a particular restaurant right so waiter will come to you okay it will take the uh, your order so order will be something like this i right, will take the order it will go to the chef the chef will understand what exactly the waiter want it will prepare the food and after that the food prepared uh, you will be served with that food and you will enjoy your food right so here uh, if you try to communicate directly with the chef there may can be a little bit confusing right so here we have a waiter which basically understands equally understand both of these requirement it can understand the requirement of client it can understand what exactly the chef wants right so what kind of order they actually they are looking for right so here the waiter is acting as a api it's a very simple way to explain apis to any kind of person right let's move on here uh, you are a user layer or if you can see a presentation layer uh waiter is acting as a business layer which is core logic where it basically understand everything and it will basically going to ask from a database layer or anything uh which basically can serve or can work as a server in that case right so that is where the communication is happening let's talk about the here let's talk about the types of api so we have a simple object access protocol that is the soap that we have discussed we have rpcs we have rest in that case right so here we are gonna discuss about only about the rest uh, this is not about the uh, soap uh, i'm gonna explain you in one of the video about the soap but mostly it will be the rest all about right uh, so if uh, that i have already discussed what about the rest api design we have client we have apis client will basically use an api to connect with the server which is running a database in that case oh, so let's understand what is api testing in a very simpler manner API testing is just testing the API and its integration with other services, right? Uh, this is the important point that I have written. It is one of the most chal most challenging types of testing. If uh, type of a testing, it's a basically the most challenging type of a testing. If we talk about the different software testing, right? So API testing is more challenging because if we miss certain cases in API testing, it can cause a big problem because APIs are used by client and it is based basically they are accessing from the server information from the server right if the apis are wrong or they are returning a bad behavior so client will have a problem in that case. so you have probably seen 
sometimes your login is not working your or sometimes facebook screwed up some ui and all right that is because their apis was uh, were not working properly at the time right so api testing is important it's a future guys most of the time right now even uh, we are switching our test cases from apis because api testing is fast reliable and it can cover a lots of automation in that space so if you talk about automating your application wise uh, right now people are switching from ui test cases to api test cases so that's why api testing is important and uh, it's great that you are learning API testing with as showed, right? So that's why it's one of the hottest trend, right? Yeah. So what to test in API testing, which is important question, right? So what to test is basically what we want is we want to validate. So API, most of the time we are working with JSON or XML in that case, right? If we talk about rest that I have explained, you, right? Uh, so we'll be using STPP method, which are get, post, put, uh, patch, delete, right? And they are sending your data in the XML as JSON and they contain keys in that case or tags right so we are validating these tags with the maximum or ma minimum range it's a very similar to the any kind of a software testing that you are doing to do right we are basically validating the json or xml if they are uh, in a good structure or in an expected structure or not we are doing key with keys verification uh, we are basically checking for the different kind of stpp codes error codes we are looking for it right uh, so if we talk about what to test in API, we are doing validation, security testing, usability testing, and documentation testing. Validation is all about verification of keys, different HTTP methods. Security, we are talking about the authentication, if these API are properly authenticated and authorized. Usability testing basically means whenever we are sending certain different uh, wrong data or um, malware, something like that, they are usable or not, or uh, if the APIs are returning certain kind of a bad values, how uh, how useful is your application and all that, that we are basically checking in that case documentation how they are properly documented and different types of things right types of bugs in api testing which is important one fails to handle particular errors unused flags missing duplicate functionalities reliability issues security issues multi-threading issues in apis performance issues improper errors and warning incorrect handling of valid arguments and all response data is not structured properly just in errors so these kinds of bugs that you can encounter while doing the API testing. Test cases for API testing is our return. Basically, we are checking the input condition. Return value of the input conditions does not return anything, trigger, triggering, triggering the another APIs, updating any kind of a structure using patch and all, modifying a structure, creating a new structure, creating a new resource. So we are checking everything in this test case. So these are the test cases for it. Uh, practically, we are going to see, so don't worry about it. Like, so thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.